Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Abelson from Kinetic Health. Today I'm going to go over the tibial nerve test. This is a really important test if you have a lower extremity condition. So if you have something going on in terms of plantar fasciitis or it can be Achilles tendonitis, several syndromes of the foot, we want to make sure that we're not dealing with a nerve compression syndrome. So we're going to talk about the tibial nerve, which is basically we have the sciatic nerve going down the back of the leg, and then we get to the knee, and then it basically bifurcates and we get two nerves here. We get the peroneal nerve on the side, and then we get the tibial nerve on the back. It goes down, as it comes down, it goes to the inside, like you show here at the end, the inside of the foot, and basically we have an area that comes in called the tarsal tunnel. And as it goes through the tarsal tunnel, it wraps around, goes underneath the foot, and then separates again into two nerves on the bottom of the foot. And on the bottom of the foot, we've got an area basically referred to as the medial plantar nerve, and then we have the lateral plantar nerve. So we want to make sure that we don't have a problem with any one of these. So in this specific test, what we're going to do is we're going to take Leanne's foot here, and we're going to straighten the leg out to about 35 degrees, somewhere in that vicinity. And then we're going to take the foot into a everted position. This is inversion. Now this is eversion, and we're going to hold this. Now, Leanne's probably feeling absolutely nothing here because she doesn't have a problem with the tibial nerve. But what we'll do from this position is you hold this tight. You okay there? Yeah. And then we'll bring it up here. And we'll bring it slowly up. Now, if we've got a problem in terms of tibial nerve compression, or even the plantar nerves, we're going to start to getting what we call paresthesias. So we're going to get numbness, tingling. We could even get burning or even direct pain on the bottom of the foot. And then as we bring it down like this, we'll get a decrease. Now, as you're going through this test, it's very, very important to keep the foot in this everted position. So we're going to kind of take it over this way and keep it there. And you might want to do this a couple times. And you don't be, you won't be aggressive with this, but just take it up a little bit and then take it back down. Excellent. So this is a good way of differentiating whether we're dealing with other things compressing the nerve or the nerve being tethered itself. And this is for the tibial nerve, tibial nerve test.